You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Well, howdy doody, everybody. You guys ready for a new year? Well, here's a new show of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob New Indeed, episode 717. In fact, hope the end of your year is going well, getting all the things in order that you need to take off in 2018 and have the best year ever. We're glad that you're with us. We are definitely glad that we are with us. So it makes me wonder, what are you going to do for your New Year's resolutions? You're going to try to build more business. You're going to try to live the drone life a little bit more, make more cold calls. You're going to create more relationships, do more networking. What are you going to do? That's my question for you. But anyway, before we get there, uh, we have a question today talking about, and I think it really goes into marketing, uh, mapping, and modeling with drones, because people are wondering, you know, how do I, what can I do with these models? How do I, you know, really showcase the value to clients? I think this is a really good question on how to market those things uh, for yourself, and I think it's something that a lot of you will really be interested in. So um, today's question is going to be brought to you by our friends at Colorado Drone Chargers. If you are charging a lot of batteries, which I just found out from our poll, that most Phantom pilots carry five batteries with them. Hmm. Well, what happens if it's cold outside and you're only getting, say, like 12 minutes of flight time on one battery? How are you going to ensure that you're cycling those batteries? Now, this is in case that you do have an outlet to power. So we talk a lot about Energen. Those are portable battery chargers, and they're awesome. And they can only charge four batteries at a time. Then you have to recharge the unit. And it's normally for people who are out there traveling. If you do have access to a power port, an outlet, you can charge up to four batteries at one time and cycle through batteries really quickly if you have a quad charger from Colorado Drone Chargers. Just go to coloradodronechargers.com and use discount code drone u8 to get a discount on any one of their chargers and if you're wondering yep i actually use them and that's why they're on the show so anyway thank you very much and let's hear the question hey paul hey rob kevin new jersey uh i have a question regarding mapping uh first i'll say the intermediate mapping course you guys put together is great fabulous watch it a few times uh got a lot of questions hopefully i'll get some of them answered during the webinar but um one thing I wanted to ask was, can you take the 3D models and put them in something like After Effects or what I use, uh, BMD Fusion, and sort of animate them? Uh, maybe do like if you had a 3D model of a golf course, do a 3D fly through of the course. Or if you had the interior of a building as well as the exterior, could you fly in using the uh, after effects camera views and or for me it's bmd fusion camera views and uh basically make a simulation that looks like you're flying your drone through the 3d model and take a tour of it um if you guys know anybody that does that sort of thing like to uh hear about it thanks great idea ken thank you for the continuous good questions and this is an interesting one i mean think he he's really thinking ahead a little bit yeah as to what you can do with mapping and modeling it's I cool. like it. There was a group. Um, there was a group at Interdrone who was actually doing time lapses with models, which I thought was really cool. Um, uh, and there were some really great things that you could do because if you were doing, you know, a construction progression report and you had a model where they were just getting started, you had a model where they were like maybe halfway through. Um, you know, you could really do like essentially a circle around. Uh, you know, essentially the model while showcasing the models themselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but that's really cool. But you can also showcase the models in video form using Pix4D. So this is another really cool example of how to um, essentially use Pix4D over something like PhotoScan, where you can create these essential waypoints and camera paths inside of Pix4D. Now, I would recommend when you're doing this, you have everything closed on your computer. You're not running even Chrome in the background um, because... Your computer's speed and its ability to handle these models and maps is really going to determine how smooth the camera paths are going to be. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this link uh, for you guys. I'm going to give it to Rob right now so that he has it. Um, 
Pix4D Camera Paths. And this video is going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction of exactly how to do camera path motion so that you can actually showcase to people looking at your, your camera paths. So here they go in and voila, we create some camera paths to actually look at our model in various cool ways. And what it does, see, here we go. See, we're flying through our model right now. That's pretty awesome. So you can actually do a, a lot of really, really cool stuff. There are, um, there are other things that you can do as well. Like I talked about the time lapses between models. Um, and I think that that's one really killer way to do things. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it is really difficult to do um, advanced, you know, animations on top of models, you really have to get creative. You know, he talks about using After Effects and whatnot. If you've got screenshots of your models, sure, you can do something with it. But something that I would do if I were you is I would actually make a video in Pix4D and record that video at the highest possible resolution or let it output the video. Then view the video in QuickTime Player and actually go into the QuickTime Player settings and say view actual and then go to the essentially the biggest screen possible. Hit Command C to get your um, your screen grab that way and then open preview and from preview you go file and then new from clipboard and that's going to give you the highest possible resolution uh, screen grab of the video itself so you can actually get 4k screen grabs so you can do a little bit more editing with them and whatnot hmm. um there are cool. i'm trying to think here um what about taking a model and using it virtually to like in real time fly through your model on your screen hmm. is that too far say that again so you have your model and you turn it into almost like a video game we've talked about using them for video games oh yeah uh -huh. right and so you're putting the model on a screen and then you're flying through your model in real time you can use something i think it's called unity Let's see unity 3d give me a second um, it's a gaming engine. Yep, Unity 3D. And essentially, you can develop all of your maps into VR areas, and you can actually record the screen that way and actually hmm. walk through. So yeah, you just have to get kind of creative on right. how you're going to do it. There are some software solutions, but again, everything's going to be limited by the power of your computer. So you may not get the smoothest movements and whatnot if you don't have a super powerful computer. So something to just be completely cognizant of. A know? lot of cool stuff you can do. Yeah, yes. I mean, basically, the sky's the limit, no pun intended. You just have to know what resources are out there. Like Unity, I didn't know that existed. Probably there are others that one could use. Obviously, things like After Effects that he mentioned. Cool stuff. Yeah, lots Very of cool, cool stuff. Very cool stuff. you got to have a lot of time. <laughs> You're going to be putting a lot of it into making this stuff happen. But, um, man, a lot of fun. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. And don't forget to ask a question at askdroneu.com. 